Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Hellflex theme from Plethora themes and also add one demo. To start we need the uh, WordPress uh, installation. Uh, I do have one on my computer locally and currently uh, there's nothing inside. I have only uh, kept uh, the default uh, theme which is uh, 2017 and I'm going to add the Hellflex theme. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to download the package from uh, our Envato account. I have already uh, downloaded the package and the uh, next step is to extract the contents uh, on the folder. It is important to extract uh, the contents because if we try to upload all the packets, uh, it will fail. Uh, we, we need to upload the Healthflex uh, zip and the Healthflex child uh, zip. Uh, we're going to uh, add new. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can uh, choose from uh, a free uh, uh, repository, but uh, the idea is to upload our own. Uh, we choose uh, file and going to the folder where uh, I do work and here is Healthflex zip. I click on it and I install it. Uh, as I said, I'm going to uh, add uh, uh, the child theme as well because it is the safest way to uh, keep uh, any changes uh, we, we might have done without uh, losing uh, anything uh, while we update. Uh, it's the same process, we click on the on the theme and install and if we go to uh, the themes we see uh, we have uh, now uh, Healthflex and Healthflex child. We're going to activate the Healthflex child because uh, it inherits all content from uh, the parent theme. Next thing is to install the uh, uh, required plugins. We see here we have a number of uh, plugins we need to uh, install. Uh, we use the back action which is uh, pretty faster than uh, doing it one uh, by one. Uh, it is essential to install at least the plethora of features library and the visual composer from WP Bakery. Next we need to activate the uh, the plugins. We're using the bug action again and now if we go to the plugins uh, we see everything is installed and activated. This is the welcome screen from uh, Page Builder and uh, this is normal. It comes up after we install and activate the particular plugin and here is uh, what we need. Next step uh, is to visit the front end and let's refresh the page and uh, at this point we see that the style is present uh, the theme is uh, installed but there is no content uh, you can start deploying but if you need to add the, uh, the demo uh, you're going to uh, have to use uh, the command which is on the tools uh, menu item we choose Healthfix Demo Importer and here is the screen where we can select between a number of uh, existing uh, demos. I'm going to use the medical clinic which is uh, the default one. Uh, note that uh, if you choose like another uh, demo like the health, ex the health codes, uh, you may need to add uh, uh, another plugin. The plugins that are not installed and activated, they are marked with a red color. Uh, all the rest are with a green color. Uh, so if we choose to uh, add the, the main demo, uh, we're ready. So we only need to click on go to import panel and we see that we're ready to start the import. Uh, it is essential not to leave uh, this page because uh, if we do uh, if we do leave it before uh, the end of the process um, the import will be incomplete 
and we'll end up uh, in uh, a situation where we'll, we're gonna need to uh, do this from the beginning and uh, this is going to cost uh, some time uh, of course you can uh, uh, simply use a plugin to remove uh, uh, everything that is in the, the, the database but uh, uh, gonna need to avoid that and stay here until the process is finished uh, we see there is also one notice about the Google Maps uh, API key which is uh, missing this is normal because uh, the new policy from uh, Google is uh, that uh, you need to obtain the certain API key from uh, the website in order for for the plugin to work and add the maps on your website uh, it's a simple process you only need to log in with your uh, Google account and get the the API key um, the process is going to finish uh, in uh, a few moments and uh, then we're gonna be able to uh, visit uh, the, web the website and see uh, the result uh, note that uh, this process is uh, pretty uh, straightforward and the same uh, in all Pythora themes so uh, you can keep a note on that and use this info for other themes now here we see that the import uh, uh, is finished so uh, let's go to the front end and refresh the page uh, we see that the demo is installed the slider is here the content is here the all pages uh, have been imported and the demo and uh, the menu items everything apart from the images that are kind of blurred but this is uh, uh, because uh, we don't have uh, any uh, rights to redistribute the images they're stock uh, photos from uh, uh, a third-party service uh, so if you see this means that uh, the demo uh, is imported and you can start uh, deploying you can change images change captions uh, text and uh, uh, publish your website the sooner uh, so uh, that was all thank you for watching